Kylie Minogue is in the studio. We will just be randomly doing the show and then one of us will just start saying padam. Just out of nowhere. It's just constantly on a loop. I know, padam. Can you explain to us? Not really. Okay. (laughs) I'll try. (laughs) Because we feel like we have our own kind of version of what it is. Yes. How did this all come about? Um, It's like it dropped from heaven, honestly. Um, It's a song that was pitched to me for this album. And my A&R from my label, when he, when we're in the mode of making an album, I mean, I'm obsessed. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of things. I'm writing things. And also songs are submitted. And so when he'll forward something to me, it's that moment is so exciting. I just think, I've, I'm going to press play. I have no idea what I'm going to hear. Um, but this one was titled Padam Padam. So already I'm thinking, what's Padam Padam? It's just like often songs will come with like a kind of holding title. It's not, you know, it might not be a finished song. It might be, I mean, you know, anything, golf cart, like <laughs> whatever. <laughs> um, so it was only upon hearing the song and 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 I just fell in love with it straight away and could not wait to Make it mine. <laughs> so you were loving the word put on the minute you heard it. Like, was there a you, question you were like, is this going to hit how I want it to? Or you just had full confidence, like, we're going for it. It sounded, I, I loved the song. And then the kind of the bonus is it felt like it was perfect for me. I love that. Yeah. Um, so I, I'm, I think it was, I think it was written with me in mind. So, you know, it was kind of tailor made. Um, but but we certainly could not have predicted um, that Padam would enter the kind of consciousness and, and vernacular unexpectedly. It's a noun, it's a verb, it's an adjective, it's, it's a like greeting, whatever you want it to it's, be. it's really whatever. It's interpretive. It's the interpretive dance of lyrics. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's amazing. And for it to take off like it did on TikTok. It's got to be so great as an artist to like to see that, to see the fans reacting so instantly to it. So exciting. The, I mean, a hundred I mean, million the, streams. Yep. There's 12.7 million views on the video. A hundred thousand, over a hundred thousand creations on TikTok, on Instagram Reels. It's the number one dance debut and trending. It's just stop, but I can't even. <laughs> it's, it's, it's amazing and I feel uh, like throughout your career you've had these huge moments mm-hmm. you've had these milestones and these records that are breaking and when you think of Kylie Minogue you think at least with me fun love you know heart and so it's so great to have this song that embodies that yeah. and for you to have this song it's just it's it must be great to see to see the work pay off well yeah because it makes it very real I mean, there's there's fig, stats and figures and stuff, but to actually the day after the video came, I mean, I don't know how people did it so quickly. Where'd they get red thigh boots from? <laughs> <laughs> what? I mean, so just, yeah, talking about fun and love, I think that is shown in in these, the, the TikToks and the videos and memes and photographs and celebrations, people having their own, like theming their parties red. I... I mean, yeah, it's amazing. I think I've been doing this for like, you know, an, like an ice age, really. <laughs> I was about to say ages, for a long time. So pre all social media, pre all of any of that stuff. Um, but I think this is the first song I've had in this modern age yeah. that has – you can't you – can't, um, at least I don't think you can create a viral moment. It has to happen naturally. And so thanks to everyone who's done that. I'm still celebrating it and still they're still doing it. I'm mm-hmm. loving it. I think day. that's what's so cool is because you're the only female artist to have a number one album in mm-hmm. five consecutive decades. So mm-hmm. it is like throughout these different mediums of social media and whatever it is, like you're still able to come out and do something that works. And kind of like you said, TikTok's yeah. its own special thing where mm-hmm. – it's really hard to plan it, right? You can't really Listen, plan. Listen, I've tried it before and I've, I felt ridiculous. We all, I was like, me too, I don't know, <laughs> I just, I can't, you know, and I suppose one of the the amazing things about social, social media and especially something like, you know, a viral sensation, 
you know, you've got all the, the talking heads trying to figure it out and no one can you really can't. figure it. It has to be genuine. So this one even so surprised I'm you. Just, totally. So I'm just kind of, I, I'm, I'm, I'm amazed myself. Love that. Yeah. Do you have a personal accomplishment that you're most proud of? Because we have like the record breaking stats and all mm. of that. Do you have something that stands out in your career that was to you the most personal or the most you're proud of? Oh, that's there's a thousand things going through my mind right now. Um, a kind of an easy go to is to talk about playing the legend slot at Glastonbury in 2019, which was really a moment for me to take stock. And I don't, I don't pat myself on the back very often. You know, I'm, I'm too busy going, what didn't I do? What can I do? But in that moment, I thought, wow, I really, you know, standing on that stage and, and having the legend slot was, I just allowed myself a, a tiny moment of, yeah, I, I, I finally, I do feel like I deserve to stand on this stage. I've still got to deliver, but it was just, it was, it was something for me to, um, for, for that question, like, what's the moment? Well, that was a great moment. Aside from that, I mean, you know, just still being curious and still loving performing and loving my audience and what they give to me, uh, you know, that that will always be a beautiful thing. And now Las Vegas. And now Las Vegas. We're Residency. bringing all that hype to life. Yeah. What's the what's the vibe of this <gasps> residency? So it's at the Venetian Resort in Las Vegas at yes. Voltaire. Yeah, so Voltaire is a new specifically designed club slash experience, I guess you could say. Um, uh, so when you enter Voltaire earlier in the night, there's going to be this, this and that happening. You can get champagne, you can get caviar. I think it's going to be glamorous, a little hedonistic. Um and then you have the headliner. In this case, it's me. Yeah. I'm so Alex excited. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Moi. Uh, <laughs> and that will be the kind of the apex of the night or the, the pinnacle. And then there's going to be a DJ afterwards and you can – what a, a part of the background of Voltaire is, and I just experienced this being in Vegas myself and doing some research and trying to understand – what what is Vegas these days, and what might I bring to the to the party? Um, where do you go before and where do you go after? Mm. Voltaire's got you sorted, but it only holds a thousand people, oh, so it's going to be super intimate and exclusive. Um, I hope everyone feels uh, some escapism. Uh, I hope they feel treated special. I think it's going to be special for me to be in an environment that. That's that uh, close. Yeah, intimate. The more I'm talking about it, the more nervous I'm getting. <laughs> well, the more excited we're getting. Oh, we're getting excited. <laughs> um, yeah. That's what it seems like to me is like this whole TikTok fad that's just been going around, especially mm. around Padam. Like mm. all of that is going to combine together in this Vegas show. And you're going to get like the live experience of all of this hype. Yeah. Is that the vibe you're trying to bring to it? Like what do you want people to experience when you go on as the headliner? I would, you know, if I had one word, I just want it to dazzle. Dazzle. Yeah. I'm just looking at the album cover there. You know, the, the theme with the diamond, you know, the pressure it takes to make a diamond, hence tension. Um, I just would like it to all – I think I'm getting you just now that all these different parts will come down to like the central yeah. shining light. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure, Minogue. But you're a pro. You've been doing this. No, you I know, it. and I love to do it. Yeah. But I think – yeah, it would it be coming to that kind of the the the, the shiniest bit. Yeah. Um, let's hope. I'm so excited. To but I know that. people go to Vegas with that energy, so you know there's there's a lot of goodwill for that to happen. So, so how about yeah. you? Like while you're in Vegas uh, doing a residency, mm -hmm. like what do you do on your off time? Are you trying to see what Vegas is about these days? Like are you going out before, after the show, between days, maybe? I've yet to discover that. Okay. I mean, I don't know. I have this weird, <laughs> this weird kind of daytime fantasy that I'm going to be, you know, full tilt, glamour, 
hyper extra at the show and then I'm going to get into like a camper van and go off, <laughs> off to the desert and keep it very real, right. trying to make a, you know, fry an egg on a tiny, teeny <laughs> fry pan in my pop-up, you know, uh, van, uh, which probably won't happen. In my mind, that's a nice a nice balance, a nice escape. Um, we'll see. We'll see. We'll All see, right. Yeah. Might see you out there. And tickets go on sale August 9th at VoltaireLV.com. And then also the new album, Tension, out September 22nd. Yes. We're so, so excited to meet you. So happy Thank to have you, you in today. So Thank the you so much The rumors were coming. true. I was coming in and here I know. And finally. We thought and you're like, like, hey, lady. <laughs> no. <laughs> you're very tardy. No, we're happy. <laughs> Our social media director, Laura, hey, is Laura. from Australia. So Hi. we have been learning a ton of new um, oh. words and phrases. We've also discovered the caramel ko- koalas. Yeah. Yeah, oh, which yeah. are just so delicious. Okay, what... um. What Aussie phrases do you know then? I'm going to have to be bleeped. Yeah, yeah. But, um, <laughs> we, she hasn't told us a single PG one. <laughs> we're not here to <laughs> spiders. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we're not. <laughs> According to Laura, we're not. <laughs> uh, maybe Kylie <laughs> Thank you, Kylie. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll, well, we'll say the Aussie word. Ta. 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 We haven't heard that one. It's not used too much in time. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks, guys.